welcome back to the channel guys today i thought i'd do a mod that is fairly easy to do cheap and also makes your car look better now it's important to note that there are a few things that i'm going to do in this video that you don't need to do uh, for example i removed my front bumper um, and i did that because i can't work on the ground um, not in my condition anyway so i was able to remove the front bumper and basically do it that way so there's a couple of other things to mention as well is number one my bumper is absolutely thrashed so most of the tabs are broken um, on both sides but um, we'll get into it so this is the item here it's called a samurai uh, rubber lip um, I don't know if it's actually the brand samurai but um, that's what everyone keeps calling it but they're called universal uh, car bumper lips and things like that um, I ordered mine from eBay I think I paid around $20 for it that's how it comes to you in a box um, wrapped up like that um, now look I didn't know what to expect going into this um, on some of the pictures it looks really good on some of them it doesn't look so great but I thought hey we'll give it a shot um, I had some free time so I thought I would um, I would see what happened also just improves the look of your car in my opinion just that little bit more uh, especially for those of you who are running standard front bumpers so that's how it comes unfortunately when it comes it's quite hard um, so you need either need a heat gun or you can do what I did here which was I laid it out um, flat on my car during a hot day and basically let it um, roll out pretty much um, so that it was malleable and I could uh, move it to where I wanted to uh, I am missing some parts of this video unfortunately it's not much of it but it is uh, a small section in which I attach the lip to the bumper I attach the lip to the bumper initially but I will be removing my bumper bar just to make it easier for me to work on as I said this these steps here you won't necessarily have to follow because your bumper bar is probably not going to be as bad as mine um, so first things first we're going to remove the G -Tech, GK tech panel but before that, I want to show you guys where one of my bolts is to hold in the bumper bar. Um, and apologies for the camera work, it's really bad, but there's one right there. Um, there's, a, there's a video that, in which I show you how to take off a bumper bar. Um, I'll put either a card up or a link in the description um, so you guys can see how to do that. But there's one bolt there. I know you can't see it terribly well, but it's a 10 mil um, bolt um, into a... I forget what they're called, the cradles, the plastic cradles that obviously hold it. So um, I've got two of those to remove basically. Um, and I've just removed the radiator, um, the air guide support panel, um, the bolts holding that in. So I'm gonna take this off, um, which basically will free up everything. So these three plugs here uh, are what is basically holding my bumper bar on my car at the moment bar two bolts because you can see one of the tabs there is broken snapped off i do have the part for it so i'll maybe do a video on how to plasti weld stuff uh shortly anyway once i find um the time to do that so i'm i've got a broken tab there um now the other side wasn't broken to begin with but um it is now um so that's clean snapped off um so that's actually not doing anything. So realistically, the only thing holding my bumper bar onto my car at the moment are those three plugs there, um, plastic uh, screws, and also a 10 mil bolt on the other side. So bumper bars off, um, and it gives you, look, I encourage everyone to do this because it gives you a, a good idea of what's actually going on in your car at the moment. Um, so you can have a, a really good look at obviously what's going on. Um, we'll go and have a look at the bumper bar now. Now, obviously you guys know this bumper bar was a used secondhand one that I paid $50 for just to get me through, obviously not having a bumper bar on my car whilst um, the S-Tune front gets fixed. So it's a little worse for wear. Um, now, if I was pedantic and stuff like that, um, and this was an immaculate bumper bar, I probably would have sanded down the bottom side of it to make it so the double side of tape uh, stuck better. Um, but yeah, this is the part we were missing the initial video. Uh, it was about 35 seconds of when I first initially peeled the uh, double sided tape on and did the first screw. So at the moment, I think I've only got like two screws in. Uh, and look, there's a bit of fiddling around with this. It's not difficult, but you need to make sure you line it up correctly. So I've got three screws in there at the moment, one in the center, dead center, um, one next to it, and then one following the curve of the bumper bar as well. 
Um, so this isn't overly too difficult if I'm honest, um, but you're definitely going to need more screws than what they give you. They only give you five. I ended up using like 15, I think. Um, but yeah, make sure you measure correctly and you don't put heaps of holes in the in the in the rubber like I did. Um, but We've fully attached it now. So basically you just work your way from, from the center out to the right or center out to the left and basically just do your screws as you need to from there. So pretty much from there we are done. As I said, I used quite a substantial amount of screws, uh, just spares that I had at home um, to make sure that it was on there firm and all, all on there um, correctly. So, and following the lines of the car. So there, look, it's a two and a half meter piece of rubber. So there is some overhang, but you will need to trim off um that's easy to do but look guys it, it will i know it looks like it's flexed a bit there and and it's not sitting properly but it does end up um i guess relaxing the the rubber ends up relaxing and it sits perfectly another thing to look out for is if um if you put the bolt in too close like you see there where it's got a bit of a dip that means i've put the screw in too close to the rubber or too close to the edge and it's pulled it up um, and it doesn't look very nice. So basically once I was done there, there's another couple there as well. Um, once I was done with this, I then had to basically remove the screws, back them out, um, readjust the rubber and then put everything back on as well. So I've just put the bumper bar on there now loosely, um, just hanging on there. I haven't put any of the, any of the bolts or any of the clips back in, um, tied on there. I just wanted to get a bit of an idea of what it looks like right now. Um, and I don't hate it to be honest with you for, for like $20 you seriously cannot go wrong um i didn't use a drill for this i used a cordless screwdriver um i got it from bunnings uh or you can get the ikea ones as well they're great um so i used one of those and and that worked really well because it's got enough power so you're not doing it by hand and you're not trying to obviously do it by the drill because if you do it by the drill chances are you may go through the actual rubber um because you're pushing so hard so look I don't hate it um, for the price I paid and for what you're getting. It's a decent modification to obviously bring out the look of the car a bit more. It sits a bit lower. It looks a bit more uh, aggressive in my opinion. Um, but as I said, this isn't going to be my forever bumper. This is just an interim bumper. But I thought whilst I've got it, I might as well have it have something on there. So this is the before picture um, and this is the after picture and i think you can see for yourselves it, it does look good it doesn't add heaps of heaps of um length to the bumper but it does give it a bit of a lip look which looks good we'll walk around the car now and have a look at that so it may be a bit difficult for you guys to see because it is so bright out there today um so the glare is pretty ridiculous but um that's it on the car there now um look as i said it fits perfectly it fits well um I really, I really think it looks the business for how much you paid for it. Now, I've driven the car for a few days now and already there's scratches on it, um, which is to be expected. But hey, if you're thinking uh, logically here, this $20 part could save your $600 bumper um, from getting scuffs and stuff in it. So it does look good as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, my car looks trashy at the moment, but it looks okay. I mean, if you take some pictures and stuff, it, it looks good. Um, and it just, yeah, I don't know, it just gives it that bit more aggressive look. Um, but look, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, and always take care.